Hey, what's up guys, Jay Zab here, and the uninterrupted ETB week continues. Today's ETB is Battle Styles. I got the blue Battle Styles ETB here today. Man, honestly, I haven't opened a ton of Battle Styles. This is gonna be the first Battle Styles ETB I have ever opened. And um, the thing is, there's a lot of good chase cards in this set. I know that people dog on this set, but honestly, the Tyranitar is awesome. The Houndoom, I want real bad. Uh, both the Urshifus are both pretty sweet. And then on top of that, um, the Mimikyu full art is fantastic. So there are actually some pretty good chase cards in this set um and yeah i like i said i haven't opened a ton of it but today i'm gonna be opening some so thanks for joining me on this journey let's hope we get some bangers if you guys like content like this consider subscribing to the channel it's free for you and it helps me out immensely so thanks in advance for that i really appreciate it without further ado let's get opening all right boys and girls let's get this started let's just just crack into it i'm excited I've never opened one of these before. You know, I've opened Battle Styles packs. I've never opened an ETB. I actually have two of these to open. So I'm kind of excited. Let's take, we're going to slow roll this a little bit. I do enjoy looking at the artwork that's in here. It's cool that they do that, you know, like that you could like unpeel this and it's like kind of like a little mini poster. They got the, uh, the cards like, just look at that Houndoom. Tell me you don't want it because I do. I love Houndoom and uh, Houndoom as a shiny is fantastic. This Tyranitar is fantastic. There's just some really good cards in this. Actually, it's got a lot. Man, this Cheryl's card's awesome. A lot of good full art trainer cards. Look at that Mimikyu. So lots of cool cards in this set. Let's hope that we pull one or eight or 15 today. That would be great. Even though we only got eight packs. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Whoop, here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. This one actually comes with a little booklet on how to, is this like a how to play booklet? That's pretty cool. Like I said, I've never opened one of these before, so. The blue Urshifu uh, card sleeves. What else we got in here? The die, the card dividers, energies, and the acrylic status counters very cool all right all right all right like i said man i've i've never opened this much battle styles in one sitting i'll tell you that right now uh so this is a this is a start for me here this is a new new territory all right here we go we're gonna evaluate so battle styles this is the second set that I'm opening in my uninterrupted ETB weeks because it's the second worst set, I think, um, out of all the ETBs that I got. Why? Why do I feel this way? Well, number one, I really haven't opened a ton of battle styles, if I'm being honest. And number two, the value's not really in battle styles. Like, there's some good cards. Um... Like the Tyranitar is worth a good chunk of change. The Urshifus are worth a good chunk of change. Empoleon's actually worth a good amount. And the Houndoom. And then it kind of starts trailing off. But man, there is some pretty good artwork in this set. Uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of good good luck with this set. Uh, but that's why I got some ETBs. Ooh. I wanted to open some um, to kind of, you know familiarize myself a little bit more with battle styles I'm, i really haven't opened a whole lot i've focused on other sets because the chase cards well in general let me just in general i prefer opening some sets that i have multiple chase cards in okay now i did name some cards in this and i was like oh this 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 and this but really um the the tyranitar the Mimikyu and the Houndoom are really like the only cards I personally care about. Now, obviously, I'd love to pull some of these other ones and, and you know, get my value back. But um, the artwork's just not there. Or the Pokemon's not what I'm looking for. Oh, let's go. But I'll take a Hyper Rare all day, every day. Let's go. I love gold cards. I love gold cards so much. Look at that. All right, well, here I am saying, what am I saying even? You know, it's hard to explain. It's, I mean, I, if you're watching this, you probably get what I'm talking about. Sometimes, even though like I enjoy most 
all Pokemon cards, right? Like I do, but there's some that are just better than others. It's just, it's just a fact, right? Would I rather pull a Corviknight VMAX Secret Rare from this, or would I rather pull a shiny Pokemon from, you know, Paldean Fates? Mm, depends on the shiny, I guess. But you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, it's kind of, I just really haven't gone out of my way to buy or open battle styles because there's three cards in this set that I that I want personally, that I really want. I'd like to still get a master set, don't get me wrong, I still want one. But uh, there's only really three cards that I really, really, really want to pull myself. And that's usually what draws me to a set, is what am I looking to pull myself? What do I want to pull? Small wild card's awesome. I love Mawile. Wow. Octillery. <laughs> Galarian Slow, bro, that's a cool card too. Uh, you know what I mean. So it's like, I'm still stoked. I'm, ooh, that's awesome. And I'll take that all day. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there really is to it. You know, just every other set. If someone was like, hey, you want to open battle styles? Or do you want to open 151? I'd be like, 151. Hey, do you want to open battle styles? Or do you want to open Lost Origin? Lost Origin. I want that Giratina. Hey, you want to open battle styles? Or you want to open Darkness Blaze? I'll open battle styles. You know what I mean? Even if they were like, hey, battle styles are Vivid Voltage. Uh, probably. Uh, I like the amazing rares in Vivid Voltage, but um, I'd probably still pick battle styles, honestly, because I want that Houndoom. I want more of that Houndoom, I should say. Esper. Her ugly. <laughs> I want the Tyranitar. So, yeah. But yeah, battle styles, uh, in general, artwork. If I was to review this set and review the artwork, pretty good, pretty good. Um, definitely better than Darkness Ablaze. That's why I'm opening this second. Darkness Ablaze was first. Um, the artwork is kind of there in this set. Like, look, look, the Carcoal's pretty cool. Pig Knight's pretty dope. Um, lots of lots of decent artwork in this set. And then the blip bug is not decent. Pony art not that great. Mankey, eh. Sizzlepeed's pretty good, though. I like that. Spoink's pretty good. Marowak. So yeah, the, the artwork for me is pretty pretty decent in this battle styles. I like it. I also... Oh, man, that level ball's pretty sweet. Oh, the Phoebe's pretty sweet. Actually, there's some pretty good cards in this set. That's what I'm saying. I would, I would choose this over Darkness Place. Would I choose it over all the other ETB that I'm opening? No. No, I, that's why I'm opening it now. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> enough jibber, John. Can we get another pull, please? Let's not, man, Darkness Ablaze, only one hit in that whole ETB. Not feeling it with that. Probably because I was talking smack the whole time when I was opening Darkness Ablaze. This Lickitung, I love it, it's very cool. Vivillion. Vivillon, Viv Vivillon, Vivillion. All right, well, we only got two packs left. See, this is this is the thing with these older eight-pack ETBs is, man, you know, you talk about people saying, oh, I opened Evolving Skies and I only got one hit. Granted, I did get a Hyper Rare, but, you know, an entire ETB one hit, that's a rough day. It's a rough day. All right. Single Strike Energy, Camping Gear, Cedra. Ball wild card is dope. Cherubi. Archerisu. Chimcho. Chimcho. Yeah, see, like, this weird, like, soft art, I'm not really a fan of, honestly. And I don't like this Grump Pig either. Uh, yeah, I'm just not a fan of that style. And these earlier Sword and Shield had a lot of them in it, and I just didn't like it. All right, this is, uh, again, rough. Rough, rough, rough. And here I am, a dog. Rough, rough, rough. Um, yeah. Let's hope for some last pack magic here, Battle Styles, cuz... What up, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing? I guess, you know, cuz I'm at the bottom of the list, I'm talking smack about these sets, and then... You know, they're kind of showing why. Like I said, that's a, it's another thing, is there's the, there's this feeling of, like... Um... When I open a set, like, I, I, I kind of remember the hits and the bangers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so when I'm not, this card's awesome though. When I don't get anything, uh, I kind of remember that too. And this is another set that I just don't ever remember getting too much from. So, oh, some last pack magic. Let's go. Tapu Coco V. Actually, this card is dope. I really like that background. It looks like a Simon Says board. 
right with all the different colors and the sh -sh -sh. that's dope let's go <laughs> take that all day all right cool 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 very cool hey at least we got two hits all right uh really quick sh -sh. these are our pulls from actually not bad eight packs we got a hyper rare and a ultra rare that's not bad at all but you know like i said like the value is difficult so this experience share right now currently 790 for this card and then to find that tapu coco i'm gonna have to scroll 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 249 so i mean not too shabby pretty good didn't get my value of the etb back but you know what i still had a lot of fun if you guys did too uh more uninterrupted etb weeks to come this is only the second video we got tons more so ton more etbs to open i hope you guys join us for it thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and until next time i'll see you later